Hello friends, today I am continuing my presentation about further steps of quality, module minus 3, about drug substance. Hope you like it. 3.2 S, 3 characterization, name, manufacturer, and second formation of structure based on for example, synthetic root and spectral analyses should be provided. Information such as the potential for isomerism, the identification of stereochemistry, or the potential for forming polymorphs should also be included. Biotech. For desired product and product-related substances, details should be provided on primary, secondary and higher-order structure, post-translational forms, for example, glycoforms, biological activity, purity, and immunochemical properties, when relevant. 3.2 S, 3.2 Impurities. Name, manufacturer. Information on impurities should be provided. 3.2 S, 4 Control of drug substance. Name, manufacturer. 3.2 S, 4.1 Specification, Name, Manufacturer, the specification for the drug substance should be provided. 3.2 S, 4.2 Analytical Procedures, Name, Manufacturer, the analytical procedures used for testing the drug substance should be provided. 3.2 S, 4.3 Validation of Analytical Procedures, Name, Manufacturer, analytical validation information, including experimental data for the analytical procedures used for testing the drug substance, should be provided. 3.2 S, 4.4 Batch Analyses. Name, Manufacturer, Description of Batches and Results of Batch Analyses should be provided. 3.2 S, 4.5 Justification of Specification, Name, Manufacturer, Justification for the Drug Substance Specification should be provided. 3.2 S, 5 Reference Standards or Materials, Name, Manufacturer, Information on the Reference Standards or Reference Materials used for testing of the drug substance should be provided. 3.2 S, 6 Container Closure System, Name, Manufacturer. A description of the container closure system should be provided, including the identity of materials of construction of each primary packaging component, and their specifications. The specifications should include description and identification, and critical dimensions with drawings, where appropriate. Non-compendial methods, with validation, should be included, where appropriate. For non-functional secondary packaging components, for example, those that do not provide additional protection, only a brief description should be provided. For functional secondary packaging components, additional information should be provided. 3.2 S, 7 Stability, Name, Manufacturer, 3.2 S, 7.1 Stability Summary and Conclusions, Name, Manufacturer. The types of studies conducted, protocols used, and the results of the studies should be summarized. The summary should include results, for example, from forced degradation studies and stress conditions, as well as conclusions with respect to storage conditions and retest date or shelf life, as appropriate. 3.2 S, 7.2 Post-Approval Stability Protocol and Stability Commitment. Name, Manufacturer. The Post-Approval Stability Protocol and Stability Commitment should be provided. 3.2 S, 7.3 Stability Data. Name, Manufacture, Results of the Stability Studies. For example, forced degradation studies and stress conditions, should be presented in an appropriate format such as tabular, graphical, or narrative. Information on the analytical procedures used to generate the data and validation of these procedures should be included.